All right, so so um so mugs so mugs said yo i need you y'all want to do a song on it on the album we like hell yeah he's like I only could pay y'all six two thousand a piece that was my first check in hip-hop right there that was my first check oh shit mugs gave me my first check so so basically mugs was like look i can pay y'all this for that um for for the for a song so then after we did the song, then he was like, you know, if y'all want to sign with me, I could try to find y'all a deal. You know what I'm saying? We like, all right, cool. So like a week went by, 2000 is gone, niggas is broke. And this is when Half Pete just got on. So niggas is broke. And um, we was all in the crib smoking weed. And then we just talking about, what about that dude from Cypress Hills Mugs? He said, we want to sign us. Call him. We all talking. I hyped, Everybody hyped up. We like, call him right now. And see if he's gonna give me fifteen thousand if he wanna sign us. I'll get on the phone. Yo, what up, Muggs? You wanna sign us? Give me fifteen grand. Sign. He sent the fifteen grand the next day. I was so mad because I wanted to ask for more. So I should ask for more. <laughs> so boom, then we got with Muggs. Muggs in the studio. We did like twelve songs. You know, he tried to get us a deal, it didn't work out. He signed us for four months. Gave us the money and you know, put us in the studio every day. It didn't work out. Um Godfather was writing all those rhymes at the time. This is way back. Godfather mm -hmm. was writing all the rhymes. So then when we did the Thug Music song, that was the first rhyme I wrote. You know what I'm saying? So when the Thug Music song came out, not not, not the first rhyme as far as Infamous Mog, but that was the first rhyme I wrote for Infamous Mog as a group. Wow. So, so once we once we once that came out. Then Virgin Records signed us. And that's when me and Ty Nitty was like, we got to write our own shit. Plus Virgin Records, the, the, the A&Rs is like over your shoulder in the studio and shit. They just gave us like 900,000. So you know what I'm saying? But the pressure was on. We got the album done. Then Virgin went through some bullshit and dropped everybody from their label. Almost they signed like 10 artists at one time. We was one of them. Then they dropped all of us. And then, you know, that's when we dropped our, our, all our shit independent. So the music that we did with Muggs, and the music they would do with um um with uh Virgin Records, it never came out. You know what I'm saying?